Namaste, my beautiful queens. Thank you very much for your support and for your love. And uh, I want to make each reading very special for you. And of course, majority of my videos and my uh, passion, everything, I give uh, my 300% into the reading I do in Patreon because of my gratitude. Um, the subject of this reading, my queens, I believe would be true for any one of you. And two simple and hard questions. Did uh, he love me then? Does he still love me? Was it love? Uh, what was it? And I will tell you a little story. And I will do three. Just you have to choose uh, one set of cards out of three because there are uh, not many of you. So we can make it more personal. Uh, this is a story and which I uh, had only a couple days ago, and we all had that story, that sometimes something could happen uh, 5, 10, 15, 20 years ago, and um, it, it doesn't leave us at peace. So um, this is a story about a man and a woman who I call eternal lovers, those who keep on meeting from life to life, uh, you know, they make each other happy, they make each other sad, they, um, different circumstances, they change faces, places, epochs, but those souls stay the same, they always find each other and uh, live different lives and learn different lessons with each other. So in this life, they met when they were very young and they've, uh, they've been together for five years. I will make a long story short, circumstances interfered as always. And he was forced uh, by his wealthy parents to marry someone they chose for him. And uh, she found out it broke her heart. 30 years, 30 years, not him, not her could forget about each other. They were always connected through this no knowing of each other for centuries, for millennia. And um, she wrote me, uh, and I've done a reading for her, uh, which she said that she was crying uh, for 30 minutes because I simply revealed to her what she already knew, she said. I thought I was crazy. I thought I was insane. I thought I had a some psychological problem or some obsession for 30 years. I kept asking myself, did he love me? Uh, why it happened? Why he did it? What it was? And... Um, now, finally, she found answers to her questions. So whenever it happened, I am sure all of you have that story. Even if it happened two months ago or two decades ago, you have that someone who you had something uh, between you two, but you might not be together with that someone. Or you might be together with, with that someone, but you are asking, did he love me back then? Does he still? love me. So whatever your circumstances, I want to find answers to these questions. Whenever it happened in your case, uh, long ago or not long ago, did he love you back then when this all was happening between you two? Does he still? These are the questions, so please choose uh, one card, one set of card of three. I am going to use three decks here so uh asking the uh, spirits of fire earth or water and the air the guides and the keepers to give us the answers to our questions all right did he love you back then does he still love you set of card number one did he love you back then does he still love you? Set of card. I forgot to light my candle. Set of card number two. Did he love you? Does he still love you now? Set of card number three. And girls, you know me. I will tell you what is here. 
we're gonna do the set of card number three and now i'm gonna do additional cards from this deck in here from this deck in here energies of three uh, decks we're gonna do we're gonna do it right here and we're gonna do it with this deck with this and the third one we will see into it this third one with this one so let us go straight to it i don't think you need time stamps uh i would recommend watch all three because you might uh feel resonating with not what you chose so let us go did he love you back then let's see oi 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 look at this look how talkative let me move it here did he love you back then does he still love you i can't uh, move it here like that so back then you were dealing with a magician of course magician is a uh, number one the first arcana magician he first of all loves himself and puts himself at their main point of everything in his life so um yes he did love you but from the point of view you have to understand that magician loves with his hat and magician is that a what is called uh what we all called manipulative and narcissistic type it's his way or highway always he will try to bend you always he will try to manipulate you always he will try to make you do what he wants he presses the button he pulls the thread and he expects that to uh fall to be followed by by a certain results bright uh, personality masculine charismatic unbelievable talented but dictator and manipulator dictator and manipulator he can charm he can fool he can pull uh, but at the same time the thing is that of course he's controlling it it's not it, none none of what you want none of what you dream of none of what you hope for none of that is being taken my queens into consideration so back then yes it's love because we do have the uh six of ones here and three of pentacles and he wanted to continue um the developing and building relationship with you but you have to understand this is a very uh, narcissistic and very type of love in which you must obey and right here we have that you see the triumphator so uh, six of ones so it could work if you obeyed but at the same time at the same time this is so tricky because if you do obey and become dust at his feet then he loses the spike and he, he needs a challenge but when you give him a challenge he can become cold he can become unresponsive he uses all methods he reads you they are psychics they are possessing the strongest psychic power that's why it is the magician and they use all the methods and cold and hot clothes or Further, yes he did love you but that love is very selfish and and uh, only uh, only can be uh, taken into consideration if you obey and I don't think that you uh, wanted to obey you are your own individuality so uh, if you did separate with him uh, you you separated with him because you did understand that listen 
man, I don't want to be dust at your feet and make him let you walk all over me. And because he did understand that he will not be able to mold you into anything he wants. So uh, very often when we have triumphator and magician here, uh, they, under, you know, come on, if you understand you cannot mold anything, you know, what out of rock, you cannot mold a diamond like if it's a, play, a piece of play-doh, then they uh, usually they can leave and uh, wait until you crawl to him on your knees. If you don't crawl, then he'll find him something else and uh, or something else or something else. There, there's a top. Yeah, love was there, but that's a very selfish, very manipulative uh, type of love. Unfortunately, not love based on respecting you, compassion and empathy, because as we know, this guy has issues with it. So this is uh, what was in the past. Let's see. Uh, is he still? What is it now? What is there now? And and you see this idiot, you know, now I do not know when was it. For some of you, it was years ago. For some of you, you are asking, I just can sense in energies and I can feel that some of you were asking about something years ago. And now the, I'm sorry, my language, they are stupid and that's true. And now the idiot suddenly realized what an idiot he was and now he remembers and probably years past the life experience happened and he and he suddenly realized yes i i could get it all with her if i stayed with her now four of once if i stayed with her marriage card if i married her she was everything i ever was dreaming about and i could achieve everything with her because she was my lucky charm including ten of pentacles which is we are having the true love here and we are having two marriage cards so sorry my language idiot things why i have not just freaking grab her take her to the court or to the church to, to whatever and just marry her after year passed by unfortunately the nature of a human including the nature of this man that i have had treasure in my hands but i did not see only when uh, what was this song my beautiful queens uh, you only need a, that oh gosh what was it uh, you only you only miss uh home you you only miss a road when you're missing home you you only know you love her when you let her go and you let her go so you only know you love her after time has passed but it's too late he did not treasure he did not hold you he did not do it and now who is he to blame you know i can only um i do not know what he's gonna do but uh, being honest with you uh I feel sorry because three cards, look at that, three cards of true love, togetherness, family, crowned by the gift of God's Ace of Cups. So definitely this is connected with the past because we do have uh, the Ace of Cups. Um, I do not know what he's going to do, how he's going to behave. We're not looking into this, but right now, realization you had been everything he was dreaming about and he lost it he lost it so now he does love you and does realize it not just that he loves you but that you would be everything he wants in life fulfilling of emotional uh, thirst uh, of uh, togetherness, of understanding, of, of uh, simply enjoying simple things or non-simple things. Now it is there. But uh, if we want to know what is there in the future, uh, we are not looking into it uh, in this reading. But this looks very promising, very promising. I believe fully people don't change, but this man went through. It could be 
uh, something tragic he went through in order to understand it. Maybe he lost somebody he loved. Maybe some uh, he he himself, for example, survived uh, some um, life-threatening illness, and he understood really what's important in life, really what makes sense. So yes, this is for now. This my beautiful queen set of card number one. Set of card number two. Did he love you? Let me move it a little bit because they are slippery. Did he love you uh, back then? Oh. Uh, did he love you back then? We are having the central card is a major arcana. We are having hermit and we are having uh, the uh, uh, two of Pentacles and the two cards of choice. Look at this. Two cards of uh, choice. Back then, my beautiful queens, this was not a man who uh, required or uh, who needed love in his life. The thing is that you have to understand clearly and we are not dealing with some uh, we, we are not dealing here with some uh, manipulator, liar, or like a magician. No, girls, we have the hermit. And you understand that the hermit, does a hermit need a woman? Uh, of course not. He wants to be alone. It's a loner. He wants to be alone. He wants to be left alone in his cave. Uh, like right here, you see a snake. He wants to understand uh, the... Uh, this is usually very old soul, a very, very old so who it's a deepest the deepest card uh, in the deck so back then um he was not um uh, needing something connected with uh, with love or with the relationship but then you walked into his life and then he was put in front of the choice because you see this these are the cards of choices three of ones uh, the card of a choice which has to be meant you know whether I take this ship and I sail away or I stay here and two of pentacles that could be also possible that he had to make a choice between you and someone else Else, but I doubt it because the thing is that Hermit is a loner, but could have been because it could have been a different situation. It could have been he had to make a choice between you and someone else or you and uh, his loneliness or you and his own uh, uh, dreams or wishes. You know, it's like it's it's uh, almost the same as um, you remember the thorn birds. My, here is beautiful, beautiful. Here is an example. I love when... Um, the spirits giving me the example which I can show you. Uh, Thorn Burns, he was a Catholic priest, but he loved her and he constantly had to choose between uh, his, uh, his path as a Catholic priest who is not supposed to be and he loved her since she was a little girl so could be such choice. Love was there because there is a three of ones but at that time uh, you, you were important yes love was there but he didn't let this love closer to his heart and he didn't let that love to rule him so he chose to walk his own path uh, he chose to let you go probably probably for some of you what can it be true she needs better than me very often this is the cards of uh, cancelled engagement cancelled wedding this one is like why am I in this relationship what am I doing can I give her what it takes am I uh, designed for committed relationship she wants family she wants children I wanna you know and I don't want it I wanna figure out what the life is all about uh, why why we are here why the uh, winds blowing uh, so on I could be speaking a long lot of time about it but he was too entangled in his own questions about life and everything in life so he he chose to uh, let you go because right here he lets those ships go and for some of you he decided that uh, you'd be better this way, that you'd find someone who can give you what you want, someone who can give you what you need, and of course no intimacy in, in a hermit is in a hermit. Um, he doesn't show feelings, he doesn't let feelings rule him, he dies, it's a lot of things like this, but simply uh, he stepped back from you. This was in the past, let's see.
uh, what it is now, uh, how he is towards you now, what is there in him now. Oh, my God, wow. Just, just like, my goodness. What's happening to boys? Boys are being awakened. The Schumann frequency secret. And uh, so he doesn't know where you, you know, it's like that song. Were you a devil of my life? Or were you uh, an angel? Were you an angel? Look at this angel and devil. And again, the card of a family keeps on us, never forgot you, never ever not forgotten you for one breezing moment, but still confused, was, were you the devil, the temptation he managed, where is a helmet here? The temptation which he met, you look at this, these are mirroring arcana, see high priestess and hermit, she is walking her own path, and she is only with the one she considers right. She's not going to be with random people. Uh, an example of high priestess is, is myself. <laughs> and was she the temptation I was supposed to hold off from? Did I do the right thing? Or was she the one, the other half, the truth? And if I married her, if I had family, look at that. If I chose to stay with her, ten of cups, there is a man, a woman, and I guess he's still single. He looks like the guy. I cannot imagine this guy to be married, but even if he is married, he's... Uh, um, very, very unhappy because uh, there is the marriage card. He could be married right now, but uh, because the high priestess is a secret woman who lives there deep in heart, who he talks to, uh, talks about nobody. So sometimes he thinks of you as an angel of his life, sometimes as a devil of his life, because you will not let him be. You are there living in every particle of him. So he's asking himself, if I chose her, would she be a blessing or would she be a curse? Would she make me understand the levels and meanings of life or would I be destroyed? What could have been? But if he is married, then take my word. Uh, you are there and uh, he, uh, you know, sometimes the thoughts of you uh torture him because he is he is in marriage with someone and usually when if they do get married they stay in that marriage uh asking himself well, what if uh, sometimes you are a devil sometimes you are his angel his secret love who gives him sacred fire of his soul and help him to to live through difficult times like that and the uh, set of card number three my beautiful queens wow my goodness such a... i've noticed that when i do readings for uh for you girls for patreon uh like such maybe because i put so much energy here it's just incredible answers i'm getting set of card number three did you i okay oh wow who broke whose heart girls did you break his heart or he broke yours? Look at that. Three of idiot, especially if you were dealing with the king of wands. Uh, obviously, king of wands is here, Arias Leo or Sagittarius. And, oh my God, he or did he love you? Of course he loved you. But either he broke your heart, looks like he did because he's next to the broken heart. And look at that. The karmic, the soulmate, a love, love of true soulmates, a love which has the base in the past, the boy and a girl, sincere relationship. But he wanted to be a king. He wanted everything to be his way. He broke your heart. Why the reasons why he broke your heart? Uh, because of six of four cups here could have been that he was not taking you seriously. That he was like, okay, nice innocent flirt, nice innocent thing, it's fine, it's okay. Like like he was not committing, he was not serious, he was not taking you as a treasure when he was supposed to take you as a treasure. 
absolutely but uh he didn't and uh, because and he he broke your heart or you said you know what i'm sick and tired of waiting for you to do something and i am leaving and by leaving you broke your heart and broke his heart as well well he deserved it but he didn't take you seriously and he had to take you seriously because you were that treasure for him the true one for him you know and what happened you know he he just he broke your heart uh or you walked away from him because he was he kept on behaving as a child and you walked away heartbroken he was very uh when you were gone when you each went separate way it looks like he he was he was devastated like his life separated through before and after and because we have six of cups i don't think he could ever forget you because these are the card of eternal lovers as well what it is now there okay so girls who <laughs> devil she's my devil why why i am a king of the ones i'm strong all women dream about me all women want me and women crave me why i can't forget that why god what cards are here devil she's my devil so long it, it's been so long so much time i've passed but i am attached to her what what did she do to me maybe she put a spell on me maybe i'm enchanted oh my god it's it's cops and it's a page it's a night of cops and it's a it's a night of cops and it's a night of ones and devil was what a mess the guy is in total mess devil plus knight of i'm just gonna get on a horse i'm just gonna come to her i'm just gonna break through the wall like in a bollywood movie with that horse knight of wands and a devil right here temptation oh no no i'm not gonna do this way i'm not gonna i'm just gonna get on another horse i'm just gonna take this cup and i'm just gonna come to her and i'm just gonna tell her you know, I have been, no, I'm not going to tell her this, page of a night of cups and night of wands. How, my God, how he suffers. What an insane war is happening inside of this man. And like, the seriously insane, the central part of the devil, he who who sees in devil in you because he could never forget you because of course six of cups of course he could never forget you this man this man could have had 75 women or uh, 755 women but that feelings those feelings and emotions he had uh he never had with anybody and he remembers you constantly those memories they just keep on like ghosts keep on following him everywhere he how happy he was with you how he was inspired by you how you pulled out the best out of him what what he didn't even know what was there in the same time at the same time why she possesses such a power over me why i can't get rid of because um the thing is that of course uh the king of ones totally would hate the thing is that devil is like addiction it's like obsession and a king of course of ones he would hate to have obsession because why the devil possesses endless power over the one who has that card uh, ruling him of course karma karma is here so um that uh, i don't doubt that he had uh, a share of multiple lovers trying to forget you trying to find he told himself when this happened when this happened uh he told himself not a big deal you know she's not the first woman on on this planet she's not the last woman on this planet i you know what i can easily forget about it i can find myself uh, 10 like her or 20 like her or, or 300 like her 
but time has passed and he it's a love hate because he can't he can't find it in nobody that spark the inspiration the warmth the everything he had with you he can't find with with anybody um i uh i see there is some hope in here of course my beautiful queen's take what resonates and better uh you know if you don't uh, uh know if you're not sure if you doubt it then uh, you know get a reading with me or with somebody you trust but um, here we are having king uh getting very tired of fighting this you living with a tornado inside of yourself we don't see any queens here he could never find the place to uh, that 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 heart was bleeding when you were gone and that heart is still bleeding and he knows and understand it's only you who can heal that wound but what we, what he's gonna do we don't know but according to these cards to according to two cards of uh, movement there is a certain hope here but the devil he fights he fights he's thinking it's a devil you know he thinks i am fighting this i can win but he can't win he already knows that this, my beautiful queens, is all about this reading. I hope truly deeply you enjoyed it. And I will do more, of course, now. All my knowledge, all my passion, all my dedications is going to be given to Patreon. Namaste.